In November 2017, Helmut Krug, the head of the Video Assistant Referee System for the Bundesliga, was sacked, and the game's most controversial technology got even more contentious. The Bundesliga, Serie A, Portuguese Primeira Liga, and Major League Soccer have all implemented Video Assistant Referee Systems, or BAR, into their leagues. And now, with the 2018 World Cup fast approaching, a decision will have to be made in March as to whether or not VAR will be used in football's most famous tournament. Off the back of the success of goal line technology in 2014, FIFA saw it necessary to further implement the use of technology to help eliminate elements of human error in football. Enter VAR. Now, decisions that can be reviewed include penalty calls, goals as to whether or not there was a violation during the buildup, straight red card decisions, and mistaken identity in awarding a card. It's still one of the hottest and most controversial topics in football, with both sides being able to provide compelling arguments for and against its implementation. For those against VAR, the most common argument is that they see the review process as atmosphere-killing causes that will be detrimental to the sport. These are the football purists, the romantics who love seeing the game played as it always has been. One of the biggest differentiators between football and other sports is arguably its fluidity and continuous play. And many fans fear that the introduction of these stoppages and reviews could kill one of the most defining characteristics of the beautiful game. And while there is the argument that the game is already stopped during the moments of review and that this process will get faster over time, the concept of waiting around for reviews is extremely foreign to football. But on the other side, some fans just want a fair match and to see the correct call no matter what. Believing that with all the technology we have at our disposal, we shouldn't allow football to be subject to so much human error. And with so much money and so much at stake in modern football, governing bodies are now under huge amounts of pressure to see that the correct decisions are made on the pitch. And VAR is a sure step in that direction. But the door for things such as corruption is still wide open, as shown recently by head of German VAR, Helmut Krug. Last month, Krug, a self-proclaimed Schalke supporter, was sacked amidst accusations of influencing Bundesliga matches. And fans in Germany have been very vocal about their dislike of the technology, with audible groans becoming blatantly apparent in the stadium whenever the referee signals for VAR. Borussia Mönchengladbach manager Dieter Hecking has even said, I dare to suggest that it will be canned in the winter break. And in MLS, the inaugural season of VAR has produced mixed results. At times, VAR has been extremely useful, such as this penalty that was not spotted by the referee, but instead given after review. But there are also instances where VAR has interfered in unwelcome ways, such as this instance where a goal was taken back over a seemingly 50-50 decision. And while it could have been a foul, it could also have been left to the referee's discretion. Or this call, which ultimately was a huge waste of time. From Diego Maradona's Hand of God to Jeff Hurst's World Cup winning goal in 1966, the element of human error has, for better or worse, helped shape the history of the game. But it is worth the debate as to whether or not the removal of future contentious moments such as these would even be a loss for the sport, which VAR aims to do. The future of football includes technology, and it's simply a matter of whether or not the powers at hand can get it right. And while things such as goal line technology can be seen as a success and an overall improvement to the game, the jury is still out as to whether or not VAR is ultimately a step too far.